So here's a little review, the Hakko FR 300s. This is a desoldering gun um, that I just got, so I thought I'd show you how it works if you're interested in getting one. So it comes in a little case. Um, actually, it's pretty nice. The case, it's a plastic case, but it has this metal protector around where the uh, the hot end of the gun goes, so you don't melt it putting it in. Um, it comes with a few accessories, just sort of like uh, some cleaning tools and whatnot, um, a little chintzy stand, and a tool for changing the tip while the tip's hot, and some spare filters. Um, so that's, uh, you know, not too interesting. I'll show you those two things. Let's plug this in now. Alright, so the tool itself. Um, you can see, I don't know, regular size hand there about how big it is. Um, so it has a trigger for engaging the pump, uh, on off button, and on the bottom, so this one has a uh, wheel where you can set the temperature. Uh, so the wheel, there's basically just a number of uh, preset temperatures, but the the little device says, or manual says, you know, one is for single layer board, two is maybe dual layer, um, three and four are for multi-layer boards. Right. Uh, so the first thing to note is actually it heats up quite fast. You see that the stand is almost, you don't really need it because it stays off anyway, but whatever. Throw it on. So let me plug this in here. And what you'll see is that, so once it's on, there's a little red light at the front. Um, it just starts blinking. When, once it reaches the right temperature. So this is showing you when the heating element itself is active. So I'll set this down to like two. Um, and see it only takes a few seconds here to get hot. So I was actually surprised how quick this heats up. So there you can see it's actually hot enough to melt the solder. So it's that's really nice. It heats up really fast. It takes a while to cool down because it has a pretty good thermal mass. Um, so seeing it in action, if you haven't used one of these desoldering guns, basically it has a um, little heat on the tip. The tip itself has a, uh, a hole in it. So there you go. So you can see the hole in the tip, and then when you press this button, uh, a vacuum will suck up solder and goes into the container there. So, for example, if you had something like you know a huge connector you're trying to remove, which would be impossible if you just had a wick, um, you can go through like that, and you'll find it does a pretty good job of cleaning them up. So you might take a little bit of practice. Of getting just the right technique down, but so I don't know if you can see these three I just did there. Uh, and you can basically see, you know, I just shoving the camera in here. Um, those. holes where I've desoldered have been almost entirely cleared of solder. So I just did a real quick job there. Um, but yeah, so it works quite well. And once you're done, you uh, can pretty easily clean the uh, the chamber. So you just pull this back uh, and this little chamber comes out and then you can see all the solder and crap in there. So if I tilt this into the garbage can or something, um, it'll pop out. And then this actually it holds it back. So we just release it and you're good to go. So there you go, so that's just using the uh, FR300 for some quick desoldering work.